May I request Professor Vijay Borges, Project Director of uh, Project Management Unit under the Directorate of Techn uh, Technical Education to kindly come up and give this presentation. Please give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, how many of you like you know here resonate with uh, this uh, symbol which I'm showing? This is one of the emojis. Okay, you must be already saying. How many of you resonate with this? Yes. Beautiful. That's called as the live long and prosper. And that's what I wish for every one of you. Live long and prosper. But there is a story behind this. And this story is very dear to me. Spock was the guy. Star Trek was the series. 1986 was when I was a kid. And Doordarshan was the television channel. This brings fresh memories to me because that's where I was awestruck. That's where my childhood fantasies, my dreams, the space odyssey of the Star Trek just blew my mind out. The terms which were there, higher intelligence, the humanoid, the robots, the automations, all of this was so unrealistic but so fantastic for me as a child. 2021. Four decades later, kids today no longer have to have the fantasy of saying, oh, space travel, humanoids, artificial intelligence, robots. Well, these are techniques and technologies which they are accessible to. That's there in their environment and what an exciting time to be for these young, young minds. Well. It's all thanks to the, the Elon Musk's, the Jeff Bezos, the Jack Ma's, the Peter Thiel's, the Bill Gates, the Steve Jobs, and their tribe. I know many of you who are here can identify with them. This is exactly where I come. Computational thinking is one of the 21st century's important and uh, uh, important skill set that a learner would need to acquire. That will involve understanding of a problem, designing of a solution for a problem, and expressing it in a form that both human and computers can execute. And it's towards this very, very thought process that the government of Goa, under the personal mandate of the Honorable Chief Minister of the State of Goa, the Secretary of Education, and the close coordination of three important departments, that's the SERT, the Directorate of Education, and the Directorate of Technical Education, with definitely the industry experts, they rolled out and envisioned coding and robotic education in school scheme. A first in the country, a budgeted scheme that's towards empowering school children with the necessary computational design thinking skill set right from the early childhood. That would be right from the sixth standard, the seventh standard, and the eighth standard. So what's the, what's the whole thought process? So what's the, what's the key idea which is coming on the table here? The focus here is that these young minds have to be nurtured with learning the right concepts, not tools. It has to be with an immersive experience. It's, it's about knowing applications. It's through exciting and engaging learning paths to draw their minds to something beautiful that they can create. It's that with that particular vision that this scheme has envisioned the project management unit to be formed under the Directorate of Technical Education. Well. What's the uniqueness about the coding and robotic education in school scheme? Well, what's the vision? It's about uh, developing computational and design thinking skill set along with the needed program integration or the programming integration right in the school level education. Well, what is the delivery mechanism, you will ask me? I will talk about three spokes. The first spoke is about revamping the syllabus. And that's where the act of the SERT and the PME unit got together, and we thought about revamping the entire school syllabus. Okay, and made it what? What did we make it? 
on two aspects, on two counts we revamped it. One is on coding and the other one is on robotics. So what's in coding? What do we do? Why do we introduce kids to, to coding? Because it makes the, the child think logically. It brings an openness about how is it to be done and why it is to be done. And more importantly, the question about why not? Now, this is a fundamental question that you as a child will resonate and as you think back and say, why not was not a question I would ask. Well, this is exactly what we did in the, in the syllabus revamping, that we want to nurture, we want to be the, the, the fertile ground where children can ask this, why not I can do it the other way around. It's a quizzical mindset that we want to imbibe in the children right in the 6th standard, 7th standard, and the 8th standard. So what the kid will learn? Learn about computing concepts, about recursions, Okay, and you will, you will always like, you know, say, yes, I know that, okay, because you all are all from the technical field. Compositions, functional programming approach, using of combined lines. This is exciting. Okay, and it's being supplemented by the school curriculum wherein project-based learning and it picks with, it's not just, a, just learning for uh, answering an end term examination, but it's a project where you do with experiential learning. Okay, and in the syllabus itself, this is very unique, in the syllabus itself, we have got hackathons which are built in. Okay, we have got competitions which are built in the academic calendar, and this is something to build the whole ecosystem of the, of the education system. Well, what is the evaluation? Current the evaluation which we always uh, talk about is end term. Okay, there is a paper which is given to you, there's a pencil or a pen, and you answer it. Well, we are changing that. And what we are doing is we are having a rubrics based every lesson plan continuous evaluation which is going to be happen. Okay, so with this, we are trying to build a kind of a system wherein the teacher and the, and the child come together to learn, to go on this particular complete learning track together. And that's where the PMU facilitates this coming together of the child and the, and the teacher who are the important stakeholders. Alec Ross, this famous um, writer, you must have read some of his book. Okay, in one of his books about industries of the future, talks about robots are coming. There's one chapter on this, industries of the future, and it says robots are coming. Yes, robots are there. We're talking about driverless cars, we're talking about humanoids, we're talking about robotics in the industry. Robots in your home. And what a better way to get children excited about something which walks, something which can talk, something which can do things for you. And that's what is coming in this syllabus. And that's what we have rolled out in this particular syllabus. And how do we roll this out? I talked about like we have revamped this entire syllabus and we talked about two parallel tracks which are going right now in all the government schools and in all the uh, government aided schools. Uh, in the state of Goa. So there's a regular track, there's a regular syllabus. And in this regular syllabus, it's a compulsory, compulsory part where all the students go through their essential learning skills okay, on, on the coding aspects or the computational thinking skill. And there is an optional part. Now what is optional? Okay, the optional is during the non-school hours that some of the select students, some of the interested kids go through a, a higher level of learning for going through uh, 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 learning exciting technologies like maybe AI, ML, and, uh, and all those other things like, you know, which they can be so much interested in. Well, the second spoke is about the content creation. Now here, okay, there was a unique thing that the PMU did. Okay. We said that instead of engaging somebody else to develop the content, what if we involve the stakeholders themselves to develop the content? And who are the stakeholders? What better than involving the teachers themselves to develop the contents for their students? Now, why this is unique? This is unique because now I, as a teacher, maybe, I know what is my local need of my child. I, my child is coming. My school is coming from a rural setup. My school is a little different from what is happening in the, in the urban setup maybe because there is so, much, so many things accessible, maybe so many kind of the needed services which are accessible wherein in a, in a rural school maybe the, the things are different. So here we're talking about, we talked about and we thought about to have the engagement and ownership of stakeholders. And towards this and this entire path and the story which we have covered so far, I want to show it in a picture form.
My name is Faradi Desai. I am studying in 8th standard in Srimati Tarabai Darvi High School. It is really amazing and very fun to use. I have made different shapes in Pictoblocks app. Thank you Rachita teacher for introducing me to such an amazing app. Thank you. This will be accessible on the, in the, on the internet soon. But this is something beautiful and this can come from our stakeholders, that's the teachers. Well, what is the other deliverables that we're having through this particular, uh, um, this initiative? You must have seen there are these um, videos which the teachers have developed. We're talking about multilingual kind of uh, uh, content which we're developing. We're talking about localized content related to the students to be developed. We're talking about accelerated paths for star performers. This is all which is coming and initiated by the PMU. The third spoke is about the content delivery. Now, every school laboratory will be equipped with a SBC-powered system along with um, a free and open source toolkits. The regular curriculum is driven by our set of 520 hardworking computer teachers. And as of today in the academic year, we are in the COVID situation, 2021-22, the sixth standard curriculum has been rolled out in more than 400 schools of the state of Goa, both the government as well as the government aided in the sixth standard, the seventh standard, and the eighth standard. The optional curriculum we are thinking about rolling out to Teach for Goa Fellows, which will deliver the, the, the optional curriculum part. So what are our achievable targets? What is our future that, um, uh, that the PMU envisions or the government envisions? that could be coming out from here. How many of you, I want to ask a question, saw the joy in the eyes of this young Miss Ferrari Desai who was there in the video? Are we looking towards the next generation of Goan techno entrepreneurs? She's an eighth standard kid. And I, I find myself so very excited that if we can nurture them, wow, if we can give technology, if we can give that experience, there is, there is, the sky could be the limit for this particular thing. And what are the numbers I'm throwing out here? 10,000, I mean, around about 1,000 plus technopreneurs every year, possible. 5,000 plus jobs per year. And I think this is achievable. So what is our pitch? We have got here, I think, so like the, uh, the, the VCs who are here, and we have got there maybe many of the startups. And what is our pitch to you? Join us. Partner with us. We are the PMU, that's the project management unit, and we sit at the Director of Technical Education. This is our vision which we have got for our future, to be problem solvers. And how do you do it? We have got, we have got in October, 31st of October, we have, till the 31st of October, there's an EOI, there's an expression of interest which is already rolled out. Come uh, and give your applications, okay? And what we are looking, the mandate is already there. Many of the startups can join us as Teach for Goa Fellows, uh, Teach for Goa Fellows and Teach for Goa Mentors. Partner in improving the quality of education. And I will end this by a beautiful poem by the Goan poet Monor Rai Serdasai. And in Takami Muntang Kukuri Bashin Ulitlo, for those, please excuse me, and I will speak in this in Konkani. Lok Kavi Muntat Takami. And he talks about the cultural and the ethnic richness of Goa. And I will say just one stanza from his poem Sobit Am Chengoi. Sundar am chengoi, rasal folanche, pikal molanche, lalit kalieche, mad madianche, noe doriache, duda zurianche, mekle ponanche, munis ponanche, sopon bangarache, hence am chengoi. Do you, my friends, believe in this dream? This dream of creating the future entrepreneurs, the tech entrepreneurs. The state of Goa becoming the next innovation hub. The land of the next unicorn. Nothing is impossible. We are all called to dream. We are all called to partner. And I welcome you. Thank you very much.